Aim your right stick in this position and load three bars of power and that's how you take a free kick in FC24. Well, it's not that simple. So let's check it out. To take a basic free kick, you need to put a pointer on top of the ball. These two triangles, one on the right and one on the bottom, these triangles tell you the exact position of the pointer. So if you imagine a straight line from a triangle to the other, you are gonna get the exact position of the pointer on the ball. Now you can see this line coming out of your free kick. This is basically a predicted trajectory of your ball, not the real trajectory. This basically tells you which type of a free kick you're going to take. You can use your left stick of your controller to aim left and right and you can use the right stick of your controller to move the pointer. With the addition of the new play styles, you have a longer line on the people who have the dead ball plus play style. So these players have the dead ball plus and some have the dead ball normal addition. These guys also are really good at free kicks. So the dead ball plus are really really good while the dead ball normal people are also good at free kicks. So you can check them in their player details section to find the best free kick taker for your team. Now let's start with the most basic and the most effective one that is the inside foot curved. To perform the inside foot curved free kick you put the pointer on the bottom right side of the square. Now you'll see the text saying inside foot curved at the bottom and your line that you're going to use to shoot at the goal will be angled towards the goal. Aim a little bit outside the wall and the ball will curve back into the net. I will use 2 to 2.5 bars of power to get the optimum results but you can even try more with the new dead ball plus specialist player. Remember to use this free kick near the 20 to 25 yards mark to get the best results possible because this free kick requires some distance for the ball to go up and then curve back down. The 93rd minute at Old Trafford. Yeah! Kepper bounces quite central in his goal. Ward Prowse hits it and it's shot up. It's Alexander. Oh no no, he struck it brilliantly. What a moment for the teenager. What a... Mateus to get this up and over the wall. It's Mateus, goes for power though. Oh, and precision too. Lá vem a Argentina, Messi, Messi bateu a falta! Gol! Now we'll talk about the outside foot free kick. The process stays the same but you aim a little bit outside the wall and use your outside of the foot to make the ball curve back into the net. To do that, aim your camera towards the left side of the wall with your left stick and then hold your right stick and point this pointer towards the left side of this square and then you'll see the outside foot free kick on the bottom of this square. Keep in mind all these instructions are there for a right footed player. Now aim out outside the wall so that the ball has some space to curve out and then back in. Load about 2 to 2.5 bars of power and I guarantee you're gonna smash the ball in the back of the net. It is Louis Ray Sané and what about that? Yes he can alright! What a story! Sané! Obviamente Zidane, Roberto Carlos, será Roberto, Roberto Carlos! It is Madison! And the next one is the knuckleball free kick and it's not inside the game. What? Yes, they removed the knuckle text at the bottom but if you aim the pointer right there at the bottom, just like in real life, you're gonna get the knuckleball trajectory. You can see how the line behaves as soon as you put the pointer right there, just like in real life. So put the pointer there and your line will be like this, like a snake and that's the knuckleball. Load about 3 to 3.5 bars of power and this free kick is really good for really far ranges because the ball needs a lot of space to go back up and then come down and the weird trajectories in this free kick are so random that you need a lot of practice to nail this free kick. 35 yards or more. Too far for Ronaldo to think about it. Oh! Absolutely sensational! He went through Almunia. Right on Trafford. Fernandez! Bruno's back. Oh, Bruno Fernandez with a fantastic free kick. He's done well. De Bruyne. De Bruyne, 2-0! Belgium! 
Belgium. What is going on here? Y lo hace Alaba con la zurda, lo hará Lewandowski, el tiro que se va adentro. Ha marcado el Bayern de Múnich. There is another variation of free kicks this year, which is called the chipped free kick. The use of the chipped free kick is not to score a free kick, but to put the ball inside the box for a header. So if you get a free kick really, really far off the pitch, just use the chipped free kick to loop the ball inside the box for a really dangerous opportunity. To take the chipped free kick, you put the pointer right at the bottom of the square so that you hit the ball right at the bottom and the ball chips directly inside the box and you can convert it inside with a header or a bicycle kick. Well, there are some other ways to take these free kicks as well. When you press the LT L2 button, you get the second man in your free kicks. And when you press the RB R1 button, you get the third man free kicks. Let's see what Neymar can do here. Neymar hits it. Oh, what a goal! Okay, so the next one we are going to talk about is the outside foot low free kick. This one is even more effective because you can put more power in this because the trajectory is slightly lower and it's very efficient to beat good goalkeepers online. So in this free kick, your trajectory of the ball will be slightly lower. That means you have to aim your pointer right here, which then causes this trajectory and then you can load more power than the outside foot free kick, which will help you to beat the goalkeeper since the ball will be way faster than the previous one. It is Ericsson. Off the ball and in! Spurs are ahead! Just... Has Marco Reus got in store? Oh, dearie! Okay, so a similar concept would be an inside foot low free kick, which is like the inside foot curve, but the trajectory is slightly lower. In this, you will curve the ball extremely fast around the wall, which is really good when you have free kicks really close to the box, sometimes right on the edge of the box. This one I would recommend. So to get the inside foot low free kick, aim outside the wall and aim slightly lower with your trajectory with heading the pointer right here. And you can even load three to four bars of power, but your ball will stay down and you can beat the goalkeeper before he reacts to where the ball is going. It's Ronaldo. The last type of free kick I'll talk about is the layoff free kick, where you just lay off the ball from the second man and take a power shot to whosoever it lands to. Press the LT L2 button and hold the cross button and your second man will just lay off the free kick for your shot. If you want to learn a lot of new skills like the next stall and the sitting juggle, click on the video right here.